The Department of Homeland Security is making a new push this morning to find immigration violators at airports. Customs and border agents are doing a three-month test of facial recognition technology. It is identifying travelers who come to the United States with someone else's passport. Chris Van Cleve is at Washington Dulles International Airport in Northern Virginia with a story you will see only on CBS This Morning. Chris, good morning. Good morning. If the technology works the way the government thinks it will during this testing phase, you may see it at airports across the country very soon. This bright light greeting some of the 19,000 plus international travelers who pass through customs every day at Dulles Airport outside Washington, D.C. could be the future of airport security. It's part of new facial recognition technology being tested by U.S. customs officers aiming to catch passport imposters. Customs and Border Protection Deputy Assistant Commissioner John Wagner. We do see people trying to use a legitimate document but it belonging to someone else to conceal their identity and we are vulnerable to that. Next please. CBS This Morning was given rare access to this demonstration of the technology comparing a photo and a passport with the person presenting it. The computer compares the two and rates how likely they are to be a match. When I presented another person's passport, the computer caught it in seconds, alerting the officer to investigate further. How'd I do? One. The three-month pilot project at Dulles is part of a larger test of biometric technology. This fall, Customs will begin collecting face and iris scans of people entering and returning from Mexico on foot at a San Diego area border crossing. Looking at things like iris or facial recognition helps us compare that person to the document, confirm their identity, so when we run our database checks and our watch list checks, we're sure we're dealing with the right person. But privacy rights advocates are concerned these test projects are just the beginning of law enforcement using biometrics to track law-abiding citizens. Harley Geiger is senior counsel at the Center for Democracy and Technology. The real concern is not so much this particular pilot program, it is that this particular pilot program is a step towards a larger program, not just in ports of entry, uh, but also in public places, um, mass transit systems in uh, the, uh, throughout the domestic United States. Customs says about 250 people a day have their pictures compared, including Jeffrey Fazio returning from the Dominican Republic. Makes travel a little more cumbersome, but if it's keeping us safe, then it's worthwhile. The images are saved in a secure database and will be held as long as this pilot program is going. And then Customs says those images will be deleted. Officials there say, you know, you're already required to present your passport when you enter the country. This is a photo ID. All the technology is doing is verifying you are who you say you are. Gail? All right. Sounds good. Thank you, Chris.